Okay, hi everybody. I just wanted to give a quick scale hive update before things in the season start changing um, pretty rapidly. So we've just got some flowers out now. Some dandelions are starting to come out. A lot of the trees, flowers are really budding. Pollen's coming into the hive really quickly. Um, and I think I saw maybe yesterday some nectar coming into the hive, but it would have been really small amounts. So I want to give a weight update here first straight away. This yellow lid hive was 50 pounds last time. And it looks like we've got 51, 51.5 pounds on that this time. And this green lid hive was heavier, 56 pounds before with that honey on the outside. And I wonder... Maybe we'll call this 56.5 pounds this time. So the weights have really not changed significantly. Um, I'm guessing the brood area in them has expanded, some pollens come in, maybe some of that older honey. Uh, we'll see what's happened with that. So there's the weights. Also, I should say, today is May 8th. Um, last time we weighed these colonies was May 2nd, so I'll update the graphs. Okay, yellow hive first. That's the way we did it last time. Remember, this was the more populated hive of the two. <laughs> Still looks good. I might actually start on the far side of this colony this time. Last time I looked at this hive, most of the brood area was to the close side, closer to me. So I kind of want to see just how far out that queen is laying. There's nothing in that outside frame. This is honey and pollen. And then this frame has brood on it. Okay. Okay, I just want to be pretty clear about what's going on in this colony. That outside frame really had nothing on it. This was the second to outside frame, um, which is a bit of an older frame that the bees have some work to do. And there's just some nectar and pollen into that, but really not very much of anything. Then our third frame from that far side is more full of nectar and pollen. I can show you that. With the sun shining down onto it, you can see some of the pollen and, and what I believe is some fresh nectar coming into the colonies now. And then, once we get inside of that, get into the brood area which has been expanded since the last time we saw this colony. So I'm just going to shake the bees off of this so you can see it a little better. So on the inside there's that patch of capped brood with a big circle of pollen and some honey on the outside. Um, and this is full of eggs and younger larvae. And then this would be the side facing the outside of the colony. And here there are larvae and eggs. She's put into these cells more recently. So the bees are working on expanding the brood laying area right out to the outside here. Okay, and I might, just because I'm here, just take a peek at what else some of these brood frames have. Yeah, so as we get into the colony a bit more, there's nice frames of brood like this, one side and the other side. 
Okay, really I think I've seen enough here. I can tell that um, the queen's laying well. Population is growing. And they still actually have some space here on the outside to, um, to store that incoming pollen and nectar. <clears throat> Could maybe replace that frame. It's not very nice looking. That's all I really need to see in that colony. I'm going to close it up. Okay, let's look at this green lid colony and see what's going on in here now. And remember before, this was the one that was lower in population but had uh, some more stored honey, especially to this outside here. To me, the population looks like it has come up a little bit. So that frame is still quite heavy. Oh, someone was asking before if this honey was crystallized under the cappings because it's from last fall. And the answer is, actually, some of it is. Some of it's still liquid there. but some of that is a bit crystallized too. Now that's all liquid, it's all nice liquid under there. Some of this is sort of 50-50. Some crystallized, some liquid. But this time of year the bees can clean out that crystallized honey if they want to and it's not a big deal. Another frame of honey, mostly. And then this is mostly stored pollen on this frame. So they're bringing in a lot of pollen right now and making room to store that. Okay, and then this frame, there's quite a lot of pollen stored in there. Quite a lot of pollen, but also a lot of young brood, young larvae and eggs. Actually, this whole side is full of, full of eggs and young larvae. So if I remember right, last time I was in here, there was sort of brood on three frames decently and then a little bit more on fourth and fifth. And that frame is nicely covered. And then as we get into the middle here, these frames are really well covered in capped brood now. And this should extend right to that far wall. So the bees really are expanding the the brood area of this colony, which is exactly what we need right now. And I'm certain these outside frames that were covered in honey previously um, have lightened up. There's a couple of them for sure um, have really become lighter. The bees are either cleaning out some of that old honey or they're really consuming it. Okay, this frame is, um, is really well covered in young brood, some larvae, and a lot of eggs. And let's just see what's on the very outside of this. Very outside. Well, there's no brood on the outside wall. It's just a bit of pollen stored. And then the inside is actually mostly pollen as well. So we're still looking at, um, you know, five frames containing brood, but all those five frames contain quite a bit more brood with the extra eggs she's laid in the past six days. 
So that's all I wanted to show. I just wanted to update the weights and get an idea of what's going on in the colonies. They look good. Brood area is expanding. The population of both hives, I think, is coming up. Um, there's still no need to put a honey super on these colonies. There's really not much of any nectar coming in, but maybe over the next week. Like I said, today's May 8th. A lot of times by the May long weekend, I have to get honey supers on, um, but we'll see what the next week or so brings to these hives. Um, both of them, I think, still have room within the brood chamber for their expanding population, uh, but that might change soon. So I'm happy with these hives. I think they're right on track for this time of year in this area. Um, and let's hope the season keeps progressing. I'll see you in the next one.